A Grand Rapids man arrested here in Louisville 75 years ago may have been a civil rights icon if only anyone had known his story. It was sealed in the Grand Rapids City Archives for decades, and only one person had the power to change that, as our sister station in Grand Rapids reports. I have a lot of memories of traveling with him. We would go to fun places, always go to Kentucky, to Louisville, where he's from, and attend the Derby and stay with my aunt and visit family. Megan Stubbs was just 12 years old when her dad passed away. John Stubbs was a Grand Rapids police officer in the 50s and 60s, but Megan didn't get to hear much about his law enforcement days until she was introduced to the current chief of police. I met Chief Winstrom uh, through a friend of a friend, and I was like, hey, chief of police, let's go straight to the top and ask this guy if he knows about my dad. Are there archives that I could maybe look at and see him as a police officer back in the day? Because when he was my dad, he wasn't a police officer. I just thought it was a, would be a great opportunity to check it out, check out the archives and see if maybe there was something I, I could dig up that would be of interest to her. Officer Stubbs folder was being held in a locked part of the archives where personnel files are stored. He became a, a police officer in 1953. Uh, one of the first things we saw was a, a picture of him in his uniform. There were letters of commendation in the file and just seeing different places he lived in the city. It was just like so fascinating because these are things I would never have known. But then something that really piqued my interest was I saw an envelope which was sealed and had a, a statement right on there dated 1953 and only to be opened uh, by the authority of the chief of police. I uh, recognized this uh, as something that, uh, to be honest, I was thinking, oh boy, if I open this and it's something, it, it could be something embarrassing. What was actually inside was not embarrassing for Stubbs, at least not from today's point of view. He was arrested simply for trying to play tennis in a whites only, uh, on a whites only tennis court and that he stood up for himself and he was really willing to go to court and willing to go and you know give a statement to the paper that he shouldn't have been arrested in 1948 Kentucky that's um, I mean that takes a lot of courage with this discovery Megan has had a chance to ponder what her dad might think about America today I think we're always working towards progress and we're gonna have stumblings and mistakes along the way um, but I think he would be heartened with where we are and also there to keep us to the fire and say keep improving. Reporting at the City Archives with your one good thing, I'm Matt Gard for 13 on your side.